The Wigwen Grounds in Muchunyi Parish is where pilgrims convene annually since Jan and Loom Day was declared by the government a public holiday. For now, it remains a bare ground, but the Church of Uganda wants this to change with the development committee put in place. We must have a befitting uh, church, like this church here. We must have uh, uh, an amp amphitheater. We must have uh, in this place uh, like guest houses or hotel where people could always sleep. We must have a very good uh, environment. Dr. Kazimba Mugalu asked the government to pay for the land at the School of Veterinary Medicine at Makere University to enable the payment of the balance of 12 billion shillings owed to Equity Bank. The loan was acquired for the construction of the Janan Ilum Church House in Kampala. In this way, we are able to settle this debt with Ikto Bank so that we keep the legacy of the man we are remembering. Because this, this project was named after him, Janan Ilum Church House. Internal Affairs Minister Kaindo Tafire cautioned the population to be mindful about who they choose to take over power after the current government. Be very careful. Exercise your right to vote diligently, cautiously, aware of where you are going. Forget this excitement. No excitement. You have only one life. You don't have another chance. So don't squander your vote in for choosing a leader who will, who will lead you to progress. We deserve better. We don't have to follow sweet nothings. You want to lead. It's not you have handsome face or beautiful dress. It's what are you going to do for us? When you get another Idi Amin, don't blame me. President Museveni was represented by the Chief Justice Alfonso Winidolo at the occasion who called for reconciliation between the Acholi and Kakwa people irrespective of what happened between Archbishop Loom and Idi Amin. Few of us made the resolution that we would reciprocate, travel to West Nile, specifically Koboko, and communicate to the people of Koboko, the Kakwa, and the people of West Nile that from the bottom of our heart, we are forgiven what happened. Because that is what will make Jana Lohom happy in heaven. The commemoration of Jan and Loom Day marked the 47th since his martyrdom for which the government took the decision to make the day a public holiday in 2015. Jackson Onyango, NTV, in Kitigum.